everyone how you doing welcome back to this channel and i'll be taking you on another episode of the series called influencer marketing my topic for this week is simple so it is one of the common mistakes influencers make when they receive a new job from an agency or a brand so how do you identify these mistakes or how do you correct yourself from these mistakes it's exciting as an influencer when you receive a mail from an agency saying oh there's a new campaign coming up and they want you your board what comes to mind first? Yay, new money. Yay, excitement. Yay, I have some stuff about on my timeline. You know, but it's all good and it goes beyond the excitement. So what am I saying? There are lots of mistakes that influencers make and we all ignore it. It's short. We don't even like to talk about it or we don't even like to address such mistakes. So as an influencer, you know your brand more than anyone. You know your followers more than anyone. You know people you interact with every day on social media more than anyone. So what you need to look out for are content that align with your followers don't take every job you get mm -mm. as an influencer you know your brand more than anyone so if your brand comes to you to say post this picture with this caption you need to sit down and ask yourself would this content you know you know connect with my followers on social media from my experience as an influencer i have met other influencers who have said no to some of the jobs i know i've given to them and then i ask why and they tell me oh you know tosin this job does not you know connect with my audience why should i you know why should i say yes to this you know so you need to know when to bridge the gap when to say yes and when to say no you need to know what content you know you can actually post on your social media page that will connect with your followers some brands and agencies find it very annoying when influencers tell them no to their campaign, you know, and then they ask the question why. So the answer is some influencers understand their followers and when they receive a new job, they look at it, they go through it and they did see if this would connect with the followers they have on social media. Another common mistake we find in this job is that brands don't connect influencers in the creative process. So as an influencer, you are the creative person behind the handle. You are the person who knows what to type at what time and you know what to say at what time. So for some campaigns that if a brand you know bring influencers on, they don't take them through the creative process. So for brands and agencies they have their meeting they sit down and they go through the campaign in their office and when it's time for the campaign to break then they bring in the influencers and then they rush them with the job so and as an influencer once you get the job you're thinking what am i going to do what am i going to say how am i going to post it, put this out on social media how am i going to pass this across to my followers how are they going to connect with this and these are all the questions that you know we ask ourselves most times when we receive new jobs from agencies so um this is one of the mistakes you know a lot of agencies make this is one of the mistakes a lot of brands make they don't include influencers in the creative process and they need to include influencers in their creative process this is very important guys if you need a campaign to be very successful on social media you need to make sure that you are connected with the influencers you know it is very very important you just don't just give them a campaign and then you say okay start and then make it trend they make it trend and the third day nothing is happening no communication no email no text message no whatsapp message no <laughs> sms <laughs> You know, I'm just I'm just saying basically what I'm trying to say is that brands and agencies should make sure that they put the influencers throughout the campaign, throughout the campaign, not just at the beginning and at the end of the campaign, throughout, so that there can be a connection, you know, when they're actually putting out their messages on social media. A campaign does not just end at likes, shares, and comments. You also need to look at your insights, you need to look at your impressions, you need to, you need to look at the number of accounts reached. This is one of the key things people make. They fail at this point because they don't look into their data. They don't check how far you know they, they they've gone in a particular campaign which is very very important so you guys need to take note of this very important as an influencer to do a recap on a particular campaign you just ended so this would then give your followers a reminder of oh this person did this campaign oh this person talked about this oh this person talked about this event it is very very important have captions like what you missed recap what you missed last night you know etc etc it goes on and on and this will actually help your page look brand new and also give your followers you know a refreshed memory 
is very very important no one does the final recap after the campaign is finished and as an influencer it is very important that you round off all your campaigns on social media so let's say for instance you you run a campaign for a month and then you want to give your followers like a reminder of what you did and how you executed the plan and how you executed the campaign all you need to do is just do a recap and hashtag to just give them like a reminder like a fresh of what you did on their page and it's also important that you contact the brand or the agency by sending them maybe a feedback um, form so that they can actually you know grade you or say or oh, tell you where you even missed it it's very important because that will also help you you know shape and also build you as an influencer as time goes on a common mistake people tend to see but they ignore is using influencer marketing across all channels so this is it not all platforms are good for all campaigns you know a common mistake influencers and brands make i am laughing because it's very funny um is that everybody wants magic they all want magic abracadabra let's make magic let's get results it is not just like that it does not work that way it does not work that way you know so people tend to people expect so much they expect that you, as an influencer you need to create magic like overnight it takes time as as an influencer it takes a lot of creativity and time you know to you know give particular results or to give certain results so you need to give us time we need to give influencers time to make sure that they deliver the job well another common mistake is neglecting to use analytics to measure performance on social media data is key you need to know and see your performance it is very very good when you're running a campaign on social media this is what you show your clients this is what you tell them oh when i uh, published this post i got total number of reposts i got this total number of likes i got total number of retweets i got total number of shares it will help them it will help the if, um, agency you know understand that okay this on this platform this particular content is working you know and like i did mention earlier not all campaigns are good for all platforms so you need to understand a particular campaign that can actually fly on a particular channel so please don't neglect to use your analytics you have the google analytics you have the instagram analytics you have the facebook analytics you have the twitter analytics it's a lot make use of them as an influencer do not ignore this question on the wrong kpis hmm. this is very this can be very tough it can be very very tough but this is it you need to make sure that you're doing it right you need to make sure that you have a kpis you know you know you know checked you know so it is very 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 important please 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 focus on the right kpis and not the wrong ones one of the common mistakes influencers make is forgetting to put the cta at the end of every caption it is very important so the meaning of cta is call to action so this will then help you connect and communicate with your followers for instance you have a post published and then you just have it from a to z so you have it from a to b and you don't have c behind it you need to put c c call to action i didn't plan that <laughs> it just happened a common mistake we all tend to see and ignore on social media is misunderstanding the influencers marketing practice it is very very important to understand a particular influencer where the person is strong and where the person is weak not all influencers are strong on all social media platforms i mean i have done a little bit of research and even for myself i can tell that there are some platforms where i am stronger and there are some platforms that where i am not really strong you know on youtube i am not strong on youtube but if you talk about twitter I talk about instagram and other platforms i am stronger there so as an influencer you need to understand which platforms you need to understand the platforms that really work for you so for some people they tend to ignore these things and they don't really help at the end of the day these are the things that you need to know as an influencer, it is important to know the channels that work for you and you also need to use your analytics to guide you. Your analytics will actually guide you to know what suits your platform and what con type of content that you need to publish on your platform. So if I missed anything about the common mistakes influencers make on social media, please let me know. Drop your comments below. So until next time, see you guys. Bye.